Hello students, today we will discuss IBMS SL Paper 1, May 2018, very fresh paper, Time Zone 2. My name is Nariman Merlim, here you have my contact information. Don't hesitate to ask your questions. Uh, today we will discuss section A, first question 1. Question is about vectors. So we are given two vectors, O A. O is origin, so it is actually the coordinates of point A and AB. O is the origin. L1 is the line that passes through A and B. F find a vector equation for line 1. Right, so now solution. Uh, I have drawn vector OA, AB. So OA or A position of A and vector along AB will take U as AB. So A. Equation of line will be parametric. So parameter is T. A is one of the coordinates. We take A. So here we have coordinates of A plus T multiplied by vector along this line. We take as vector AB. So this question is done. We go to next question. Uh, the vector 2PO is perpendicular to AB. Find the values of P. Uh, scalar product of perpendicular vectors here A, B and the vector should is equal to zero. So there is a formula in the formula booklet for scalar multiplication of two vectors. One of the vector is AB, we called it U, Co a component U1, U2, U3, and another vector that is given, component V1, V2, and V3. We substitute the values for these vectors, and we get it should be equal to zero. So we're getting equation for P, very simple one, because one of the terms becomes zero, so 3p equals minus 2, p equals minus 2 over 3. So this question is done. Uh, as a whole, the question is done. So we go to next question. Let's see what we have in this question. Uh, so we have for a function fx 6x squared minus 3x. Here we have the graph, and we should find indefinite integral of this function. Let us do it. So let's go to the solution. Here we have solution. So in under the integral sign, we have two terms. So we should integrate each term uh, separately. So we get 6 is coefficient x to the 2 plus 1 according to the rule divided by 2 plus 1 according to the rule minus 3 coefficient multiplied by x1 so x becomes squared divided by 2 plus c and this becomes so we have the answer question is done what they want next find the area of region enclosed by the graph x-axis and the lines x and y. So we are talking about this area. So line x equal 1, x equal 2, x-axis and our graph. Area will be the, in the definite integral from 1 to 2 of our function. So we use the result of previous question where we found this indefinite integral and so here is indefinite integral and we should find it from 1 to 2 so we should find substitute uh, x equal 2 minus x equal 1 so x equals 2 substitution give us this expression minus x equal 1 substitution give us this expression as a result we get 9.1 so this question is done Let's go further. So next question. Next question is about data. Question 3. A data has an item. The sum of the 
item is 800 and the mean is 20. Find n. So let us do this question. So first find the solution. Here is the solution. By definition, mean equals sum divided by number. Rearranging for number, we get sum divided by mean. So 800 by 20 give us 40. This question is done. Next, the standard deviation of the set is 3. Each value in, in the set is multiplied by 10. Write down the value of new mean. Find the value of new variance. So B. Questions B. Rule. If you multiply each element by K, where K is number, both mean and standard deviation increases k times. It means that new mean increases two time, 10 times, becomes 200. Even you can, forgetting the formula, you can understand that new sum will be 10 times greater, so divide by, ten, uh, by uh, 40, becomes 200. Standard deviation increased two times, so new standard deviation is 30. But they ask for new variance, which is square of sigma. So we get 900. This question is done. Let's go to next question. Next question is question 4. And we are given information about sector. So angle theta is unknown. Radius is unknown, but what we know about the sector, we know area of the sector is 12 cm squared, and we know the arc length, 6 cm. They uh, uh, ask us to find R. Uh, so how we are going to do it, let us see. So first of all, we should get two equations in theta and R, eliminate R and find R. So we have area relation, so I write here relation. Theta corresponds to 12 centimeters squared. 2 pi, the whole circle corresponds to the ho whole area of the circle, pr squared. Uh, making proportion out of this relation. And cross multiplying, we get r squared equals 24 over theta. Now length relation. The angle theta correspond to arc length 6 cm. Angle 2 pi correspond to 2 pi r circumference. Making proportion and cross multiplying, we get expression for theta equals 6 over r. This is simpler one, so we substitute it into the previous formula. So instead of theta, we put 6 over r, and we get And we get r squared equals 24 over theta, such as 6 over r. When you divide by fraction, you should multiply by reciprocal. Reciprocal is 6 r over 6, so 24 times r over 6 give us 4 r. r squared equals 4 r. r equals 4 centimeters. Here, capital and small don't pay attention. They are the same. Just this is work of computer. Next question. Let's see what we have. In the next question, uh, we have graph of function f from minus 4 to 2. So this is a graph. Graph consists of two parts. For negative x, we have one straight line. For positive x, we have another straight line. On the same axis, sketch the graph of f, f minus x. So when x is positive, the result will be the same as for negative, for positive x. It means that we should reflect our graph over y-axis, so left part goes to the right, and right part goes to the left. This is the graph f of minus x. Another function, uh, let's see uh, to another function. It is in black. Solutions are in red. Another function, g, can be written in the form a times fx plus b. The following graph diagram shows the graph g. We should find a and b. So first of all, we see that 
uh, our function, I have drawn our function, original function here, it was reflected over f-axis, it was stretched and it was shifted to the right. So f let us get from our graph gra uh, function g. So first we should stretch the graph two times, so y becomes two times greater. For this ref reference point is for example minus 4, 1, so one, y becomes two times greater, it is here. And uh, the same we can do for one one point, the reference grants is 2, so it is here. So stretching is done. Next we should shift the graph by 1 to the right. We did it. This corresponds to B, to B opposite, minus 1. So shifting to the right, minus 1. And then we should reflect, it means that A is negative. So minus because we have reflection, 2 because we have stretching for A. So A equals minus 2 for B. Uh, shifting to the right by 1, so B equals minus 1. So these are solutions. Let us look to our solutions. Right here we have solution. For A, F minus X is identical. By swapping positive and negative regions of X, both parts should be reflective over Y axis. Is so this is A for B step-by-step -step approach. fx is show, new function is reflective over x, so a is negative. Graph is also stretched over y two times, so absolute value of a is 2, and shifted by 1 to the right, so b equals minus 1. We have here opposite effect. Answer mi uh, a minus 2, b minus 1. Done. Next question. Next is section B. Section B we will discuss next time. Don't forget to subscribe, to put likes for this video. See you next time.